Hello everybody, how good of you to join. Welcome back, take a cup of coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy the ride as we try to survive on our little cyberpunk city that is starting to form. We are making, well, a decent amount of tools and building modules at the moment and we are making a bit of money as we can see, 2700 and it's not going to take too much more time before they start attacking me directly. Oh, look at Vadim Sokov, my opponent. He's got some nice buildings coming up there. And yeah, I'm really excited about this game. We're still only in the beginning, but this is one of the most complex Anno games that is out there. And I think it's almost on par with Anno 1800. And we're going to see a lot of stuff with lots of monuments, technology. But right now, we are really only at the basics. Um, we have a lot of tools again. So hmm, I would actually like to start a second tools production as soon as possible, right? We could also go with the concrete production that we will need now soon as well but i think tools is more important since we do need a lot of that for expansion let's just have a look i think down here yep we have lots of additional hmm we have another iron mine here and we have a surplus of coal right so we have a coal mine which is enough for two smelters so it's a good idea we have 30 energy still left to build another depot in this area just for the mine really and then we can have another iron mine here. And that's basically it. That's all we, we, we have to do in this area. And then it's just about a second smelter that I can squeeze in here. So once I have the tools here, we do need the second smelter the later area. than anyway, because with this one, we are going to produce then the weapons. And trench code has arrived in this sector. Another, well, non-player character and another NPC. He's somewhere on this map now. Unfortunately, <laughs> we can't scout. So that is going to be a problem, of course, for now. But he's usually offering some good quests, wares and items that we can purchase for a limited time. And he's only going to stick around on one major battleship or big ship, that is. And that's it. All right, another tools workshop. Let's build it. That's pretty cool. So we have now two of them that well, we just doubled our tools production. Of course, this costs money above all, but it's it's going to be really good for us, I think, then long term. And yeah, two smelters can be supported by one coal mine. This is the ratio that we need to keep in mind here. And energy, we are down to 22. This is enough energy that we need then for the next, well, for the concrete production. Let's continue with a few more houses. Space is getting rare, as we can see, so there's not going to be that much space anymore. And that means that we will be needing to build the next community center somewhere over here then. And there we have it, the red one. Why is that so? Well, because with the ARRC ma uh, mod that we have installed, we can actually have different color buildings. And this is going to be the red district. Let's have a road around that. Let's try to keep it as close as possible there. So there we have that. And as we can see, we do have some overlapping radius, but it's totally fine. And here we can then have, oh, not these buildings here though, but we're going to have the red ones. So these, very good, looking good. And there we have the next road, perfect. So another district is forming, another way of dumping down the building modules, right? And of course, getting the taxes. This should, of course, affect the fish production. But since we have three, I'm pretty sure that we can work on that for now. And we have 3,800 credits. That would be enough now to purchase another ship. And with the ship, we could speed up the building process by, well, purchasing construction materials. And we really need to speed it up. Oh, look at that. And also the casino offers us a Please quest. Help us. We Just need to deliver crude oil, 10 tons of that. Now, oil is something that we theoretically could produce now soon. There it is, right? Because we are at this level, but we don't have it yet. 10 tons. I think Vadim Sukov sold some crude oil. oil yep, there would be 800 credits and we would get 2,300 credits out of it. So that's a nice trade, right? Let's yeah, purchase. Yep, let's purchase ship, <laughs> the ship ready, again. Ship that ready. leaves us with 800 credits. Initiating That's as much as we routines. need for the crude oil. There we have it. Let's get down there and just hope that there is no pirate attacking us now. The ship is on its way. And while the ship is on its way, let's continue here with some production of... Or some building of people. And there we have that. And I will probably have another 
block of houses than in this area. And a second casino, then somewhere here as well. Yep, like that we could use it here. As we can see, we can, yep, take most of these buildings then. Alright, we are down here. Let's purchase the crude it's oil. So 10 tons of that, 800 credits. Lucrative. And get back with that home, hopefully oh, in one piece. That's good. He likes it that we are purchasing stuff, so we increase our influence by 15 towards so Vadim Sokov. That uh, is good, as we can see. We should actually do the short. same thing with Thor Strindberg, to be honest, because he's really going to be quite hard in that case. And as we can see also here with the stars, that is not the difficulty of the NPCs, but the, our reputation ah, with them. Right? So you. he's got a bigger uh, reputation with us now, or we have a bigger reputation with him because we already fulfilled a quest, and we could get another quest soon. Wait, trench code, I don't know where he is. Hector at the moment... Close, huh? He, it's actually not that bad, so ceasefire would be possible with 30 influence, I think, once we have uh, two stars. Can I help? Stop and for Strindberg, like we do need to raise that reputation. Let's get the ship over there, and let's also continue with getting a few more houses in here. And there we have the main road. Main roads just look fantastic, I think, once we have big cities, right? Because they really fit into the major plaza and think about all the big buildings that we're going to have here later and a, a big avenue just makes a lot of sense to me. Let's have it here. Let's unload the 10 tons of crude oil say that everything went and good. there we Did have we it. Have 2,300 credits out of this one here and a bit of licenses, 110 of that. Very good. And let's go to Strindburg. There he is. And try to purchase something from what? him. It doesn't matter really. Some concrete would be fine already even though it's quite expensive. I really just want to raise my reputation with him so he doesn't attack me so quickly. Now with the credits we have and the building materials, I would like to start my concrete production. We don't have that yet. Let's have a look at it. So we do need basalt crusher once again. I think we already have this one. Yep, it's the same thing. But this time we do need the sand processing plant on top of that and a limestone quarry. That is something where we do need a slot here. So let's get my depots. I actually need to build two depots, unfortunately, for that. And here. And the first one, or here, we're going to use now one of these sand crushers. I'm going to have the limestone quarry. Then the sand processing plant, even though I have no idea right now how big the ratio is, right? So how many of them we can build from one sand crusher. And another thing that we would also need then here, that we leave a bit of space for another one. And then we just need the concrete factory that basically takes the sand crusher and the silicon and build something on that. So let's have one here. That's fine. And thus we have started also our concrete production. The third building material we need for now. And it doesn't stop there. So we, there's more steel coming then. Lots of building materials that we need. And that's only for the tycoons. Think about that. <laughs> so the techs are going to have different building materials entirely. So the basalt crusher is now doing that. Oh, by the way, I totally missed that. We of course need to have basalt deposits on this island. Luckily we have. Alright, if we wouldn't have had this now, then this would have been a waste. So that would have a huge mistake on my part. I didn't check it before. Because if there were no basalt on this island, I would have moved it over to this island, to Neon, that we have just in front of Cyberpunk. Oh god. That would have been catastrophic, but lucky us, it was fine. So the basalt crusher is producing the sand. The sand processing plant is making then, well, real sand out of it. And the concrete is processing the sand and the limestone into concrete. And boy, what dirty buildings we have here. Look at that also, my aqua balance is at minus 77. It's critical at this point. So that means that we might face a catastrophe soon, like flooding, like acid rain, like a tornado. And also my distilleries are producing not that much, right? So they are losing efficiency. We do need to improve on that soon. Let's reduce the taxes for my workers there even more to the lowest level. Because I would really like to upgrade now some of them. Where's my ship, by the way? Tor Strindberg. There he is. It's probably a mistake Let's purchase some trade. building modules. And some concrete. 1,600, that's a lot of money. We're in business. 
Unfortunately, this didn't do anything, Keep right? Short. Nope. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, we can't increase our reputation with that. That would have been too easy, I guess. That Damn it. Fight a little while ago. <laughs> Let's upgrade you the next people. <laughs> this block here we can upgrade. And there we also have a few more upgrades that we can do. And also, yeah, well, some concrete and building materials for very for a lot of a lot of money. Welcome to But it was worth a test. It was worth a try. Let's see if we he got a new quest what for us. Nope. This is not nice to see you. Uh, there's Arsigo. nothing Welcome really we can do right so now with the diplomacy. Smash. None of them wants it. And there up there is trench coat actually. We can see Watch him now. Out. And he's selling some tools. Oh, he's selling weapons too. Weapons, weapons, weapons. And some other interesting items, but nothing that I can afford right now. It's a pretty cool ship, by the way. Trench coat. Okay, looking good at itself in the city. We do have lots of tools and materials ready, so let's continue with upgrading more buildings. Additional buildings. And with that, now we have available. expanded our building options once again. So now we have the burgers, or convenience food as it is called. And the burgers do need the meat factory, and they do require flavor lab, which cultivates, well, um, spices and stuff like that, I guess. It looks like it. And it requires the vegetable fertility. And that is something we have here. So this is where the first trade route comes into place then soon, as I can see, because we don't have vegetable fertility on Cyberpunk, even though we might have Just the chance if some of, one then of them sells break. it, right? So if we do it like that, we could purchase it, like sugar, for example, is out for sale right now. Um, it costs 197 licenses to get the first fertility. We do have 190 licenses, so we just don't have it. We just don't have enough credits awesome. to afford a fertility bonus. Now, the city is growing. We can upgrade more and more of them. They have the medium taxes at the moment that keeps them still happy. And we do have 500 credits now. That's good. We also have enough building materials. So I would like to... Yep, I would like to go with the next houses here in our block. In the red district. There as well. And... Mm, where's going to be... Where do we place the... The casino then. I guess here. Because we can still take those people that I haven't reached yet. And we could take all of them into this area, right? And another casino probably over here then later. Yep, let's build the next casino. There we have it. That means that all the red ones want to upgrade now too. And this cost me another... Five energy, so we only have four energy left. Oh, and we are losing some influence with Tor Strindberg there. He's preparing for his first attack, I guess. He just needs some Kazu's belly. And he's, you know, just inventing stuff. That means I do need to upgrade more quickly, because with the upgrades I can purchase that some... Fight a little while ago. Or I can oh, unlock oh, the oh. weapons oh, production then. So and Tilder actually asks us if she can settle on a new island. <laughs> That's incredible. Awesome. We can make this possible right because we do get some influence out of that. She's really just friendly overall, right? I guess she's going to be the first victim. And she probably will settle some over there. She has a bad location because she's pretty close to the pirate, Hector. Like who's got one of the best cool. bases in the game, yeah, I think. <laughs> a skyscraper in the ocean. Just beautiful. And she's very close to him. That means she's prone to his attacks quite often. Neighbors also think we have a Let's continue. We got the first red skyscrapers now too. Oh well, smaller skyscrapers because it's really just the first or the, the second tier out of I think five that we're going to see here. Let's upgrade those guys too. And we have expanded to plastic, ah, but not to weapons yet. We still need 150 more of the employees before we can build the weapons. Let's upgrade those guys. Right, so we do have if you do almost 600. Job, oh, that being so cool. 11 tons you. of building modules. We do get some sugar beet seeds, some influence and some licenses with that. What do we need to do? 11 tons of building resources. We do have that. Let's get 11 tons. Oh, wait a second. Tilda is giving us a counter quest. She says if we deliver it to her instead, 
we would get 14 tons of wood. Wait a minute, this material could just as well be used to build wind power plants because Vadim Sokov wants to build an oil platform with that. Both of them though have the problem, the pickle here, that both of them are towards the pirate and the pirate is roaming around here. So either way this quest is pretty dangerous. Let's get it to Vadim Sokov, he's the more powerful enemy Maybe out of the two. And Tilda already likes us pretty much anyway. So let's just try to get to Vadim Sokov in one piece and sell it. Even if we get attacked I will just rush for the quest because the money that we get out of it... Oh actually we don't get any money out of it. Seems like a bad mission overall. <laughs> I, would, I was hoping for a bit of money there at least. Alright, where's my weapons? We have enough buildings now, come on. There it is, very good. We have the weapons production as we can see. It's really just one factory and it just needs um, an iron smelter. So for this though, however, because I want to keep my tools production up, I will need to get more mines down here in this area. How is it going? Good news? Yes, let's turn it in. And, and let's get away from there. The pirate is already on my... Yeah. Okay, let's try to destroy him. There's no way in can flee. He's more powerful though. Incredible! We just lost another ship because of a stupid quest. I knew the risk and I didn't expect this to be so harsh. Okay. Off it goes. Command ship ready to go. And if it weren't worse enough yet, we also lost more influence with Thor Scrimpwork because we did a quest for his biggest adversary, which is Vadim Sokov. So both of them usually are quite angry at each other or fighting each other My all the time. Finally found a job. That'll make things I mean, I just love the dynamics of this diplomacy system as well, especially between the AI opponents. But in that case, <laughs> that was really bad on my part, to be honest. I risked it and I knew the risk was high and I realized way too late that there is actually no money in it. So we basically just lost 3,500 credits with that mission. Alrighty, there we have a few more people that we can upgrade. Let's check the goods. Yep, fish is down. I don't think we can build another fishery here. One more up here. Okay, one more fishery. That should do the trick. And also alcohol is stable now. That means it's going down soon. Let's build another plantation here. And then I can have a few more plantations on that side too. And money, we actually do have a bit of money right now because we're make, now. making a nice Finally, progress or nice work. tax income from our people. Let's upgrade a few more, those three, and then I stop with the upgrading for now. And we're going to raise the taxes for the workers now to the highest level. This should actually get us to a thousand there. Yep, very good. One thousand on the credit balance. And once they have grown, the employees, I will also raise the taxes for them. Right, so our smaller village at the moment can take quite a few things. And yeah, weapons production it is now. We just need to wait a bit for the tools. Of war oh, and look at that. Hector and Vadim Sokov are at war with each other now. So they're fighting actively against each other already. Well, and I absolutely don't mind this because it takes the, close, huh? the pressure off me for a moment there. Registering settlement of an island. Oh. Who are you Welcome again? She just settled on this island there too. That leaves Corey only Bartok. this island, island available now and this one. I should settle on another island ASAP. This one has vegetables. This one has... Ah, they have very bad things there. Mine site, oil. There's a bit of oil here still. And this one. This looks even worse, right? I think this one is not so bad. We should settle. I mean, I haven't even found any other island. There might be other islands here. The problem is, I know my ships get go down quickly. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's continue. I want my, I want my ammunition. I mean, look at how beautiful the town is, looking lively at this point. So lots of traffic in the center as well. Um, we need to hurry up though for the weapons. Now, for the weapons is not going to be so easy. We actually need to do two other things for the weapons. We are at critical echo balance and we are low energy surplus. We do need to fight these things first. So how do we do that? First of all, I do need more energy, obviously. Let's build us another power, coal power station. We could also go with the crude power plant now, but we have no oil here. Let's build this one and let's build another extractor for the coal across it. This will now give us the energy that we need. And the other 
problem is now that we are one almost 100 on the aqua balance so i do need to build a waste compactor costs me lots of energy also some up cost of course on the balance 12 concrete and it increases though the aqua balance by 120 right so we can purchase us some time the problem though is with this it needs buildings around it so it needs to have other houses in its surrounding we could have it here actually or like so i think we could squeeze it in it's not looking beautiful but it's efficient and efficiency is pretty important right now let's get rid of this road here in the center and build us the waste con uh the waste what is that the waste compactor into the center here this is maximum efficiency right now because it has only buildings in its surrounding and this will increase now the echo balance as we can see it is doing that already and we'll just see it has 70 percent efficiency so it should go up to 100 there 90 on the plus so this makes it possible for us to have at least a few additional factories now without risking any econ uh, well ecological catastrophe here now with that let's continue now i can start with my weapons production we do need the iron we do need the coal and we're going to have a coal surplus there once again which is a good thing we can use this one and then another smelter and then the weapons production uh, we need three more tools munitions factory costing me lots of energy once again oh boy but we can build it and there it is and with that we have started officially our weapons production and soon we'll be able to defend ourselves and it is needed because as we can see there are more and more pirates now roaming around everywhere here and it's going to be more difficult for me to defend myself we have the balance right now i just need a few more resources and probably a second munitions factory it is working already do we have that many t that much iron we have a lot of iron as i can see why both of them are working are they producing more? That's a good thing. I can actually build a second munitions factory right away. And of course, I will do this once I have the tools. And there we have them. And there we have the next factory. So that's actually two of them. Perfect. And do we also have some turrets now? Where are the turrets? There they are. Yes, I already have also some harbor defense turrets. As we can see, it needs five ammunition. And we can build them out here then to defend our harbor area and also once we are under attack um, I can send my ships into the harbor area to get defended right so uh, two of them should be fine for now and I can also then start building ships right where is my harbor area there it is my shipyard and we could also build this one but not here ah uh, that's that's a problem I will need to have my fishes somewhere else I guess so far so good and hopefully we can soon defend ourselves at least a bit stay tuned <laughs> 